All right, so here we go with my favorite, the Phil Jones base suitcase. Um, what's going on here are four five-inch drivers. And there we go. And no, they're not metal drivers. They are paper cones that are merely painted for aesthetics, I do believe. Uh, primarily, it's just aesthetics for the look. The front of the cab here, you can see the porting system. And those four boys right there. Two handles on top, which you definitely need with this combo. Um, again, out of the three, this is the smallest and it's also the heaviest. But you know what? If it's got a tone that you dig, you kind of go, I like it. I like how it sounds. I'm not really going to complain hauling it to the gig. All right, up top here, now you can see where the suitcase is definitely a bit more featured uh, than the other two amps in regards to the fact that this is a two-channel amp. So whether you're running two different electrics or an electric and an upright, you've got two different channels here. Uh, now with the two channels on the suitcase, they both are the same. You're getting Let's get in on this here. There's your input level, active passive switch input, and then a 5 band EQ with 50 hertz. Is that uh, 160, 630, 2.5, and 12K? When I saw the 12K on there, that got me happy because I typically do like boosting 12K in my bass signal. Um, some might wonder, why are you boosting 12K? You can't even hear that on bass, uh, but you can. It just adds a really nice presence um, to your tone. Not necessarily, you know, 2K clank or anything, or 1K clank, uh, but 12K, I find, for myself, adds just a really nice um, presence. Even if you're going for a real dubby tone, you know, like bottom it right out. Get it so that it's just really muffled, and if you've got either 12 or even better, 15, 15's getting a bit off the map there, but, um, you know, 12 or 15K, give that a little bit of a boost, and uh, you'll like it, I think. Anyways, um, the other thing with 12K on this amp is it doesn't have any tweeters, so why would you boost 12K? This is, I think, part of the reason why I really dig the Phil Jones line of, of amps and cabs, um, is the high end that you get off of these amps. Because there isn't this harsh kind of... Uh, tweeter that's completely separate from everything else and it's you know crossover frequencies might not be the most musically chosen um, you know going from a 10 inch driver and then all of a sudden you've got this little tiny tweeter squawking at you um, I find that a lot of cabs that do have tweeters in them already for myself are really harsh whereas with these little dudes the high end you get a ton of snap you get as much snap as you ever want uh, with slapping um, but it's just, it's really sweet. It's, it's really nice how it naturally comes off the smaller drivers. Now going back to the amp, here's our second channel. So again, you can see set up exactly like the first channel, your input level, active passive, five band EQ, and then the compressor and a headphone out and this big, awesome master volume, as well as a very cool blue LED. There we go. All right, so there we go. We've got our DI out, our effects loop, tuner out, preamp out, and our extension speaker with a speak on connector, heat sink for the amp, power, and everything else. There we go. Some nice skid plates on the back here. And uh, that about rounds out the suitcase. A very very nice suave little package and uh, tons of low end this this thing just kicks I love showing up at gigs and uh, guys going great you brought your tweeters where's your amp and uh, then we let rip and he does the job quite nicely um, but there you go awesome 
Thanks again, guys. Uh, you know, again, feel free to email any questions, comments, stuff like that. We love hearing from you. Any ideas? And uh, yeah, let me know if this did help out in any way and, and what else you might want to hear. Awesome. Thanks again. Rock on.